This is a demo video for an app I made called Bob's Buddy, which tells you how likely you are to win, tie, or lose any game of Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Um, it gives you those percentages, and it also can show you a graph, so you can see all the other possible outcomes that could have happened in that fight. So I'll run through a couple rounds and show you where it is right now. Uh, so as soon as the fight starts, it'll pop up with those statistics for us. Um, as you can see, this is sort of an even fight. We got a 30% chance to lose, or a 50% chance to lose, 30% chance to win, and around a 20% chance to tie, and that's reflected in the average result. Interestingly, the, me the median result was pretty far off from the average result, um, but, but that'll happen. So it also hides the actual result until the end of the fight, so it doesn't like spoil what happened, um, so you can sort of have that suspense going throughout the fight. It looks like this fight is going pretty poorly for me. All of his hyenas survived. Um, so this is probably going to be in one of those more negative outcomes. So we can sort of click to see ahead. Uh, so yeah, we got hit for negative five. And as you can see, that was on the tail end of of bad outcomes. Or just a barely bad outcome. Worse than about 50.9% of possibilities. But as you can see, the negative five outcome happens 40% of the time or thereabout. And that's reflected in the graph here. Um, which you can click on and see. So this was pretty dispersed based on what could have happened. And big jump up the negative five. That is like, uh, that sort of has the plurality of outcomes, if you will. And if you want to see how is it possible for me to win a fight where I was not that favored, you can click on that part in the graph and step through. So it looks like a spawn goes into our thing there. So yeah, we snipe a hyena early. That makes sense. Um, interestingly, the, the righteous protector doesn't die early. I would have thought that that would be important to us winning. Um, so we almost get some more hyena snipes. I'm guessing we'll get another one towards the middle here. But yeah, you can sort of see how it's possible that we win this fight. So that Divine Shield is really important to us winning. And there you go. Uh, we got a plus four victory. Um, or whatever it was, a plus six victory for ourselves. And then you can pop back to uh, the graph, or the basic stats here, and be back and ready for the new fight. If you were on the graph scene, when a new fight occurred, there would be a star here. Uh, that would let you go to the next fight. Um, this full screen is a little bit much for some people. So we have some settings here. If you do this, hide results show all, that won't hide the actual result. Um, if you do hide all, that will hide everything. So there are no spoilers. And if you do focus stats, that'll make it so only the win, tie, and lose percentages appear um, on that screen. So it's a little bit less information there. Boy, I didn't take anything of my turn. Let me Let me get... Let me get a little bit of that there. Uh, sell this guy. Ooh, floating watcher, easy. Uh, but yeah, we can go back and see that. So this is the more focused setting. Um, so you can make it a little bit smaller and have things be more comfortable for you here. But it'll still update for this next one. Um, and we had hide results on show all there. So it uh, isn't going to spoil anything for us here. Um, or hide results tile. Okay, uh, <laughs> something of a bug there. But in theory, that's supposed to hide everything. Um, so there would be spoiler tags there so you wouldn't know um whether or not you were favored to win or lose here as you can see we kicked some ass uh which is pretty nice if you want to see the graph then you should be able to go back here to say uh this and take out of the take out of the full or take out of the focus mode but yeah that is uh the full app so far i want in the future to add a um a save fights button so you can go back and look at fights after the run is ended because you don't have a lot of time while you're recruiting minions and all that. I also want to add a feature to where you can see if different positioning, say if I had ordered this over here or whatnot, could have made a difference in the fight. Um, so you can sort of learn something. But right now it's just valuable because it's tough to know whether or not you are actually stronger than your opponent um, because you only get to see the fight one time. The idea of this is to tell you, yeah, you were actually stronger. You just happened to get unlucky um, or no, you were unfavored there, but you, uh, you lucked the hell out of that fight. Um, so it's a tool that really is supposed to get you a sense of that um, and hopefully make you a better player as you use it more. Um, but yeah, I welcome all feedback. This should be in a, in a Reddit feed um, or on the YouTube channel. So if you can leave comments there, I am very curious to know what people think um, and stuff you would like to see, stuff you would like to see less of. And uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks a ton for watching. Oh, also, <laughs> last thing. Um, this is still in early access mode, so, uh, it's not public yet. Hopefully it will be within the next, uh, few weeks, um, as I still get stuff figured out. But as you can see, there's still some bugs, um, and.
and I want to make it look a little bit better. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully you uh, hope you check it out when it gets released.